Hey guys, my name is Eni. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Twitch bot using C Sharp. For myself, I'm going to be using WPF because I just like to have the option for UI, but you can use the console app if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and select WPF uh, tutorial Twitch bot. Gonna use 4.7.2 framework and let's make that so here we have our default ui and we are going to be using mvvm model so let's go ahead and create our model class we'll just call it model i'm not creative it has to be public and it has to inherit from i notify property change visual studio helps us here so yep and it also can implement the interface for us. Sweet. We're missing something though. The event handler. Okay. Alright, we should be set. Now we need our we need the model here. So we just call it model. Make an instance of it. And then we feed this to the data context. It should be set for this side. Okay, first of all, we're gonna need to connect to Twitch. So we're gonna make um, a little method for connecting to Twitch. Gonna feed it. Oh yeah, that's one thing I wanna tell. Uh, you're gonna need token for your bot and you should never hard code the, the token into your code because uh, people can actually get it out so it's best to always make a config so i like to use json and then just feed the file to the to the code we're gonna feed it path for the json file okay let's go ahead and make the config we're gonna add another class call it config we're gonna have to tidy this up uh, later as part if we start adding more and more modules and classes it becomes a mess that's probably most of my bots Okay, so it's gonna have a name and a token. Those will be the two, two, two strings we're gonna need, or two pieces of data. So let's go ahead and make the getter and the setter. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Do the same for uh, for a token here. Need a semicolon here and here. Uh, get the token. This way, we're gonna always have it in the instance that we're gonna create and then feed it to the connect method. Gonna need a way to set config. It's gonna need a path or file name if we're gonna put it into a root directory. So let's go ahead and do JSON and then path. And then we can do config JSON converter, is it called, I think? Or JSON convert. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm missing the essential stuff. So gonna go here, go to the NuGet packages. So I'm gonna get the Newton soft JSON. There we go. And Twitch lib. All right, there it is. Just accept the agreements. Takes a while to install. Hey, right, we have both Twitch lib and Newton soft JSON libraries in our code. Pretty sure I can just yep, use the DLL. I'm gonna use a method deserialized object from the lib. It needs a type and a string. All right, and then we just go ahead and feed our instance the data. Alright, and that's our config. Alright, back to the model. I actually made a mistake. This is not going to be string, but it's going to be a config that we're going to be feeding the connect method. And we're missing one thing, a constructor. And in the constructor, we're going to call the connect method and give it the config. So we need a private config property. Then we make new instance and we set the config. I'm gonna put the JSON file into the root directory so we don't have to do any pathing. So I'll just call it botconfig.txt and I'll make that later and show you. This way we actually don't have to feed the config into the method since we already have an instance of it available. So I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste the connect method and explain it. Since this is available, the Twitch lib uh, GitHub, so we don't have to recreate wheel. 
So you can just uh, do that. I'm gonna adapt the method in a second. All right, so first we need to put in the credentials, which we have in the config. So we're just gonna use that property that we created, we're gonna use here. And client options. So these are for WebSocket instance. You, you can set them freely, but it's best to not make it flood with messages. So there has to be a limit or there should be a limit. And we're missing one more thing, one more property which is the Twitch client. I'll just call it client so we don't have to rename everything. So next, we make a new client, the WebSocket instance. Initialize, this is where you put the credentials and your channel name, so the bot knows where to connect. Okay, you don't need this. We always have the client available, which we're gonna need later. And here I'd like to talk about the event handlers where the events are going to be going to. So for now we do unconnected. So we know our bot connected to our channel. So we generate a meta. This is our event handler. And we can just go ahead and send a message to the channel. We're going to need a channel. So we can get it from a client. But uh, join channels. We just call first or default because we are going to be the only channel connected to. And the message I am here. Okay, the only thing left there is to do is make the config file or the JSON file. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the root directory, which is in, in the solution bin folder, debug. And once we build it, there's gonna be uh, the DLLs and the exit file. So I'll just go ahead and create tech document and we called it bot config, bot config dot txt so gonna open that file and start our json with the proper name of name which is gonna be the name of our bot uh, for me it is an bot but you obviously have to put in your own name then we're gonna have a token property which is gonna be access token for your bot there's gonna be a website in the description below where you can check your token and then we close our json I'm gonna put my token in on the other monitor so it doesn't get stolen. Did I save the file? I did. Okay. Alright, so we have pretty much everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Twitch channel. Uh, get the chat. So we have chat here and we're gonna fire up our bot. It's gonna build for the first time so it takes a while. It built just fine. Starting up. So we should see a message on our channel. And there it is. I am here. That means our bot is successfully connected to our channel and listens to the event that we're gonna give him later. All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Follow my Twitch channel to get notified when I go live. I usually play Rocket League or Escape from Tarkov, but I sometimes code on stream as well. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, thumbs up. Next time, I wanna talk about how to handle messages and we're gonna add some more event handlers like unfollow and unsubscribe etc so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye